So this is our biennial Spirit of America Day. Um, and we, we bring in veterans, living historians, um, authors, uh, National Park Service Rangers, just, just people that have a strong historical background and who are willing to share their knowledge and their expertise with our students. Uh, and so students will spend part of their day outside and they'll, they'll explore around with all of our people here or and they spend part of the day inside and they, there are a lot of presenters inside as well. Um, this year we were happy to offer 75 different presenters to the students uh, at 34 different stations for them to see both inside and outside. So well, through that we're hoping that they get a, get a nice day of history starting with colonial America and then going all the way through modern time. History is the story of everything, and it's the one thing that pulls all of it together. And that's why I enjoy this so much. It takes all the things they're learning in school and all the different classes and brings it all together into one event. And they can see it. They can see how medicine changed from the colonial era to the Civil War to World War II, all those little things. They can see the things they're learning in action. And we try to get as much history into a day as we can. And, and we work on the social history and we work on the the day-to-day -day life of people in the past and how it connects with people today and why it matters of course. The students today they have so many comforts that they did not have years ago they're used to their iPhones and their computers and their video games and they don't realize there was a time uh, when kids not much older than they are were, were doing this kind of thing and uh, it, it's just it was a whole other generation it, I, you know, it's hard to get them to understand what these people had to go through and to get the kids today to realize how lucky they are because of that generation that did all this stuff because they did their duty to keep us free and as a living historian I feel it's my duty to pass those stories on to keep that generation's memories alive. What excites me the most is watching the students go to all of these different places and seeing something for the first time or picking up something for the first time and, and making those connections. You know, students realizing, oh yeah, back then they had pencils or really back in World War II they had Coke bottle openers. And it, it was those things, that, that's what, what I like. Or, or just a student walking outside and seeing a tent and saying, hey, that's cool. That's what's it. That beats everything else. And that's why we continue to do this.